Hi guys, this is the HM3 power cage, which includes plate storage integrated in the back of the rack. This is very similar to the HM2 cage, except this one has the additional plate storage. So if you've got a little bit more space to work with in your training space, um, I definitely recommend getting the HM3 with the storage built in. This rack is shown optioned with the high low pulley system at the back that allows you to do uh, your lap pull down comes with a lap bar included when you get the pulley system. Uh, it's a dual guide rod system as well, so it runs really smooth. You can upgrade this to weight stack as well if you want to, using the weight stack plates like that one you can see on the ground there. Machine steel plates, 210 pounds. Uh, so pick that weight stack option if that's something that you want to add at checkout. Also, we've got the lower um, row bar, which is a straight bar. You can use that one for upright rows, seated rows, um, and you can do bicep curls, stuff like that with that one. That comes in the box too, that short straight bar. Um, now with the cage, where it differs from a half rack is that you've got the spotter bar supported at the front and the back. So good for heavy lifting, power lifting, bodybuilding, that type of stuff. You've got the additional support of the four posts as opposed to two, so you're working inside a literally a cage which keeps you a lot safer, you can't fall back with a barbell. You can also option this rack with a pair of front spotter bars too. So you can check these as an option before you check out as well if you're wanting to do work off the front of the rack. So if you want to do push press, Olympic lifts, that sort of thing, um, and you're practicing those lifts then you might want to work out the front so that you're not hitting the top of the cage. So that's why you would option up those front spotter bars. This rack also has the core trainer option fitted. Uh, there's a lot of different add-ons that you can get with the core trainer option. Um, you can pick those in the checkout. These have bearings in them so they run really smooth even when there's a lot of weight on them. So it's a good option. I'd recommend getting that one. And the other option I've got on this rack is the battle rope anchor. That can be mounted pretty much wherever you like on the side at the back near the front um, or on the opposite side as well. On the top, the pull-up bars that come with this rack as standard uh, give you an angled grip and a straight hammer grip and the ends are angled down slightly as well. So it gives you quite a few options for pull-ups. You can also option the pull-up bar with a ball grip if you want or a multi-grip angle bar. Uh, this one has the a suspension trainer hook. That one can be mounted at the back or at the front if you prefer as well. You've got mounting holes to mount it up there. Suspension trainer hook can also be used to hang a boxing bag. So if you've got a clip and a chain with a boxing bag, you can mount that onto there as well. Uh, this rack also has a barbell hanger. So you can actually hang one of your barbells uh, store it on the side of the rack there and you can add additional barbell storage sleeves to this rack if you want to as with all of the HM racks this one has the magnetic J hooks uh, magnetic spotter bars so they lock into position with magnets to keep them in place okay well that about wraps it up for the HM3 thanks for watching